After Charge is an online 3v3 first person shooter where invisible robots fight their invincible creators. If this doesn't show After Charge is an amazing game, then I don't know what will. The game comes in the form of an attack defense style where robots, I'll now refer to as Workonics, attack crystal generators and the guards, I'll now refer to as enforcers, stop them and try to take down all three Workonics. There are 10 different characters to choose from, 5 on each side. On the Workonix side you have Bubbles, Cyclops, Turbo, Glitch and Buddy with the other team's characters being Striker, Liquidator, Huntress, Builder and Tinker. Each character has a different playstyle for different types of gamers, which I really like. The supposed lore of After Charge is that the Warconics have become tired of working for the Enforcers, so an uprising started. The Enforcers have to use their energy-powered weapons to make the Warconics literally blow a fuse. The guns don't harm the Warconics, it just shuts them down. In the game, Warconics are invisible, but become visible when the Warconic is either punching inside the blast radius of a striker grenade, caught in a trap, an orbital strike has happened, or passing charges. The enforcers are invincible, but can run out of ammo, lose by having every generator broken, be blinded by Cyclopsy's charge, or be trapped by Bubbles' charge. Charges are used by Workonix, and if used correctly, could certainly result in a win. These powers are as follows. Bubbles creates a bubble that can be passed through by Workonix, but not Enforcers. Cyclops can blind an Enforcer temporarily. Turbo gains a speed boost and jump boost temporarily. Glitch destroys buildings and traps placed by Enforcers. And Buddy makes a Workonic invincible for a short period of time. The enforcers have similar traits like grenades, aerial strikes, not to be confused with orbital strikes, traps, walls and mini generators. In the game there are three maps as of the end of alpha testing and I'm sure that they'll add much more. And the maps are small which makes games faster. Each character moves at the same speed which I do like but at some points they just feel really slow, including Turbo. Bugs play another big role. In the final alpha playtest, two game-changing bugs were discovered, where the builder could place generators infinitely high, and setting jump to scroll wheel can make you super jump. This is a genuinely great game, and what a way to start off a new series with a new game. If you have Steam and want to try this out, then join their Discord and ask anyone from Chainsaw Awesome Games for a key. They'll more than certainly give you a Steam key. After Charge is going to be cross-platform. So if you or your friends have an Xbox One or a Nintendo Switch, then tell them to follow this game and buy it when it comes out. Overall, I give this game an N of 10. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, feel free to like and subscribe. The sources and after charges discord will be in the description if any of you wish to read up on the game yourself. Bye!